Hi, my name is Tim and welcome to today's lesson, Locating VSS Errors in Backup Logs. If you're unfamiliar with VSS errors, issues relating to imaging backups can be difficult to diagnose. Many of the VSS-related error messages released by Microsoft can be ambiguous, requiring further investigation by the user. Today we will look at the steps you can take to troubleshoot VSS-related errors when running Windows Imaging Backups. Specifically, we'll show you how to access and view three event logs that help you identify where the VSS-related backup errors are occurring. These are, one, the operational backup log, two, the administrative events log, three, the Hyper-V backup event log. The best place to start when troubleshooting imaging and VSS errors is the operational backup log. This is a Windows 2008 machine, so to access this log, we need to do the following. Go to Start, type eventviewer.exe, and click on the result, Applications and Services Logs, Microsoft, Windows, Backup, operational. This is a typical operational backup log. You can see that any VSS errors will usually be shown in the Generals tab. The next place to check is the Administrative Events log. To access this log, click on Start, type eventviewer.exe, and click on the result. Custom Views, Administrative Events. Again, any errors are displayed in the General tab. When running Hyper-V, imaging problems can be caused by issues related to one or more of the virtual machines being backed up. In these cases, the Hyper-V backup event logs would usually mention the specific virtual machine that is experiencing issues. To view these logs, stay in the event viewer and select Applications and Services Logs, Microsoft, Windows, Hyper-V VMMS, Admin. In this example, the screen refers to an issue with a virtual machine that is being backed up. The next troubleshooting step would be to review the event viewer logs on the virtual machine itself. If the information or error codes in the event logs are still not clear, a quick Google search on these error codes can provide more information on how to resolve the problem. So it's that simple. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on locating VSS errors in backup logs. Bye for now.